in the city of London. And you may see a crest above me there. And that is a crest for Rothschilds and co. We got the head of the snake. We got my enemies, your enemies, and they appear to know who I am. Well, I wonder how connected they are to the police that they work for. Or, excuse me, do they work for the police? No. Who do the police work for? Who do the police work for? Is it possible that they work for the people behind me in that building right there, Rothschilds and Co.? Is that possible? Is that possible? Gee, I wonder. I wonder. So here I am in the city of London. King William Street is behind me and all of the money right here, right here. Isn't it good to be in the belly of the beast facing the cunts who run our world for now and who genocide my family for now. But you know what? There's this thing that I've always stood for. It's called law. Not to be mistaken with the color of law. The color of law, that is a whole different animal. A whole different animal. And people seem to confuse the color of law with actual law. Nah. Actual law would result in justice and through due process and evidence beyond any reasonable doubt we can conclude we're just needing that trial at the icc we're needing those arrest warrants the icc we're needing for the law to actually function as law not the color of law we've had enough of that it results in war crimes crimes against humanity genocide torture and everything else. It results in things like Bolshevism. It results in things like communism. It results in things like they're coming for you. Gaza is coming to you. Justice would mean that those Rothschilds and co, they will be paying. And do you know how many crimes have been committed by those in that building? So many, but you know, number one, number one, if you're a Muslim, if you're a Christian, you know this. Deep down, at least, you better know this. What did Jesus hate? What was the number one crime? Usury. Usury. That is the number one crime. That is why they don't like me, and they didn't like Jesus, and they didn't like Adolf either. Don't you dare compare. Don't you dare compare the Jewish state of Israel with that leader who outlawed usury. Don't be foolish and don't bear false witness. That's the enemy. And they told you your history about World War II, about Palestine, about 9-11, about the USS Liberty, about all of it. Nah, justice. Justice. Not once have I called for violence except in the form of self-defense. At all times, for 30 years, I have called for lawful, peaceful remedy wherever possible. But when you continue to put the color of law in place of actual law, then what resort to force are we supposed to use? And what are the Palestinians supposed to do? What, roll over, accept their own destruction? Hell no, hell no. The right of self-defense is every bit as important as every right. In fact, the most important right. If someone's coming to kill you, well, you have a duty to protect yourself and your family. God bless Palestine. Fuck the Rothschild.